Hello everyone, my name is Heather and welcome to the channel Bookables. We are still in the middle of fall as you can see with my pumpkin behind me and things like that but Christmas is coming around the corner. I'm not one to jump the gun when it comes to Christmas. I, you guys know I love fall. It's my favorite season. We all know this but I am looking forward to a lot of holiday books. So every year I like to do one of these with the new holiday books releases that are coming out that maybe you want to keep your eye peeled for and read and it also helps me out too because I set my my TBR up and I make my TBR every December hellaciously long. So I have a lot of books that got released this year that are holiday reads that I think you should check out. Will I read all of these that I'm going to mention today? Probably not. Did I mention every holiday like romance book that's coming out? No, but these are the ones I'm most interested in. Starting with the one I'm most anticipating, and it's already out probably, all of these are probably out, but it's, you know, holidays. Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey. I have read a lot of Tessa Bailey books. She is one of my favorite, like, steamy romance authors, so the fact that she's writing a Christmas one, yes, please. All I know it's about this one, it's a hilarious, sexy, standalone holiday rom-con about the adult children of two former rock stars who team up to convince their estranged mothers to play a Christmas Eve concert. So... It follows Melody and it follows Dawkins and it, they basically have to deal with rock star shenanigans, a 24 hour film crew and the relationship with their mothers and their newfound love. So it sounds really cute. I'm sure it's going to be a very steamy with some Christmas action, which I am here for. I have Faking Christmas by Carrie Winfrey. I love Carrie Winfrey books. They're clean romance books that are just so heartwarming. This one's a super short one too. Like I want to say it's like it's under no. Oh, it's just over 250 pages, so a nice short read for sure. This says Laurel Grant is playing house for the holidays, complete with a fake husband and kids. And it's about this character named Laurel who works as a social media manager for Buckeye State of Mind in Ohio, obviously tourism magazine. And um, she does not run a farm, but her tiny misunderstanding leads her boss to think that she does, that she owns her twin sister Holly's farm. And... And basically, they come up with a perfect plan, her and her twin sister. She pretends to own the farm for the dinner, but then Laurel shows up at the farm to find a welcome, an unwelcome guest named Max, who is her nemesis in Holly's wedding. Um, and he's going to be posing as Laurel's husband. So you can get where they're going. They're going to have to fake that they're in love with each other, but recently they probably love each other. So it's going to be super cute, super Christmassy, and I'm super ready for it. We have Wrapped Up With A Bow. View. I never know how to pronounce this by Lily Vale. This one says in its heyday Piney Peaks and its beloved Christmas house were made famous by the um, movie Sleigh Bells Under Starlights. Um, 50 years later a small town is ready for a new love story. So obviously this place got filmed. This movie got filmed. Um, this holiday movie got filmed in a small town. And it's kind of clinging on to it. And um, we have Alicia who has her heart set on one thing and she wants to put her hometown back on the map again. So when there's a sequel to that movie Sleigh Bells Under starlight that's kind of a tongue twister she's doing whatever it takes to help it go smoothly but then she sees a guy named Vess or something like that I don't know if I'll be honest with you I don't need to know what a lot of the plots of reality romances are they don't need to have the best plot <laughs> as long as it's cute romantic has a great Christmassy setting like I am here for it and this one sounds like it's gonna have all of that so I'm interested we have The Xmas Holidays by Zoe Allison. This one, it says it's hard to escape your ex when you're working together over Christmas in the Scottish Highlands, but being stuck together might be the best possible present in the sparkly new contemporary romance. All right. Set in Scotland, they decide to leave to go to Scotland and their exes or something like that. It sounds really intriguing. The cover, it looks like the guy's like, mm, and she's like, oh, it just looks interesting. It looks funny. It looks like it's going to be set in a ski resort. So... I am intrigued. Am I doing the worst job of explaining the synopsis? Yes. <laughs> then we have a new Josie Silver book. And I have not read a Josie Silver book since her first one, One Day in December, which I really liked. It's very controversial. But then all of her other books she's released have been quite sad. So I've like, mm, I don't know. But this one sounds interesting. This is about a young chef stumbles upon a family secret that might lean her to the love of her life. Iris, she decides to move to New York to start her life. She realizes how big the Big Apple is, you know, obviously. But Bobby, who is Iris's best friend, isn't about her let her, isn't about to let her hide away he drags her to a famous autumn street fair in little italy and they walk through the food stalls a family-run gelato catches her eye could it be the same shop that's in an like old photo of her mother's and 
there she meets the guy named Gio who tells her that the shop is probably gonna close and so uncle the sole keeper of their family's gelato shop is in a coma so they can't make more of the gelato that's like kind of their famous recipe and she samples the last remaining batch she realizes that their gelato and her gelato are the one and the same but how could she tell them that she knows their secret recipe when she's not sure why Gio's uncle gave it to her mother in the first place so she's decides to offer them her services as a chef to help them recreate the flavor and finds herself falling for Gio and the family. Um, and then her, his uncle wakes up. It sounds really kind of bizarre about a gelato stop where Iris knows the secret gelato recipe and maybe her mom and Gio's uncle had a thing and that's why she knows the gelato recipe. I don't know, but I want to give Josie Silver another shot because I really do really I really like her one day in December and I love the Christmassy vibe of it and I'm hoping this one will be the same. Then we have one that's not quite a new book but it's being re like designed and that is The Christmas Fix by Lucy Score. Like I said this was previously like I said this was previously published and now it's being redesigned as a new cover and being sold and I will be reading it. I've read one of her books so I don't know what this one is about honestly. It's about a single dad Noah takes his responsibility seriously an elite season hurricane turns his town to disaster. Um, he's scrambling to left out the pieces of the town he loves until a home renovation expert and reality VR star Katarina comes to the camera crew. And basically, I think these enemies to lovers deliver the holiday feels with dirty talking hero, ballsy blonde who never backs down, and a steamy hot break the dining room table sexy times in a small town that believes in the magic of Christmas. Okay, okay, I'll check it out. Um, I will say Lucy Score's books are a little bit too long for my liking, but I will check this one out. Then we have Snowed In by Catherine Walsh, and I have read another Catherine Walsh holiday book last year, and I loved it. I really enjoyed it, so I'm very excited for a new one from her. And this is about a character named Megan who's dreading going home for the holidays. She is the village pariah, they say. She, the she-devil who left the local golden bull Isaac at the, falter, at the altar four years ago and ran away to the big city. And he's engaged again, and she's been been dumped for like the fourth time this year. So she's coming home, and she's like, it's going to be great. Probably not. <laughs> and Christian's fed up being on his own every Christmas. He doesn't mind being alone, but he hates his family's sad eyes and soft tones. So when Megan bumps into Christian at a Dublin pub, they decide to come up with a plan. Like, they're going to pretend to be together. You know, it's going to help her. It's going to help him. You can guess where the plot's going to go a million miles away. An utterly gorgeous romantic comedy that will make you laugh out loud and fall completely in love. For fans of Emily Henry, Sophie Kinsella, and Abby Jimenez won't be able to put this down. Well, I love the Hall of Those, so I will be reading it. <laughs> I really like Catherine Walsh. Then we have kind of a romance series. I don't know if these are full-fledged novels or novellas, if you will, but we have like five of them. So I'm going to show you the covers very quickly. They have Cabin Crush by Casey Stockton, Mary Kismet by Anika R. Walker, Solo for the Season by Martha Keys, One Small Secret by Esther Hatch, and Jingle Bell Lilt by Mindy Burgage Strunk. Like I said, this is from the Gift Wrapped Romance series. I don't know if I'll read all of them or read one that really interests me. I think the one Mary Kismet might be the one that looks very interesting to me. Like I said, I need to research if they're all novels or novellas, but I'm always up for like a good, cute Christmas series. Then we have The Christmas Cafe by Eliza Evans and the cover drew to me this one because it is so stinking cute and this one it's about a baker named Sylvie who which I love books about bakers too um she's worked at the Christmas Cafe in Silver Bells Wyoming ever since her boozy eggnog fruitcake won the town's annual holiday bake-off 15 years ago and then she learns the cafe might be sold so she's determined to put the cafe on the map um and then good thing the Holiday Channel is filming in Silver Bells, like the Hallmark Channel. She runs into Royce, like the leading guy of this, the leading star of this holiday movie they're filming named Royce, basically. And, um... Yeah, she's going to get the film team to set a scene at the cafe. It says, between her newfound acting gig, a booth at the Christmas festival, and a budding romance with Roy, Sylvie has a lot on her plate. Sylvie just might make this this Christmas the sweetest she's ever had. It just sounds adorable. I have a couple other ones that I'm interested in. Um, I have Unleashed Holiday by Victoria Shade. This one's when an old rival reappears right before the holidays. Professional dog trainer must decide if the melting frost up can... Uh, must decide if the melting must decide if melting the frost between them can make up for their rough are you ff 
punny pass. So, you know, dogs, Christmas, freaking adorable. That was a December to Remember by Jenny Bayless. I have tried in reading one of her books before. It just wasn't for me, quite honestly. But this is about the winter solace is about to come up. Simone, Maggie, and Star, half-sisters with different moms, find out their father has died. And they also learn that in order to receive their inheritance, they must solve a scavenger hunt and then relaunch the town's winter solace celebration. And we have a festive feud by Marin Morris. So it says, my family is famous for two things, small town like Christmas party and our feud with the Pierce family. Our families hate each other. It's like a Rome, like a Capulets versus the Romans type of thing. The tale is old as Saint Nick himself. So what happens when a harmless little argument with Jackson Pierce ends up with both behind the bars for the night? The punishment for the crime is that they're they can only have one Christmas party and the one they have to throw is together with these two families that loathe each other. And basically with his dirt, with his old dirty work boots and his stupid veiny forearms, he works his way into my perfectly organized and leaves everything. He works his way into my perfectly organized lives and leaves everything in disarray. So it sounds super cute. It's a new cover to it, I believe. So it sounds just amazing. And then lastly, I have Wreck My Plans by Jillian Meadows. This is Leah's plans are simple. Surprise her family for Christmas. Don't tell them that she lost her job. And most importantly, spend the week relaxing with the people she cares about. But when she arrives in Juniper, she discovers she's not the only unexpected guest this year. Her brother's best friend is back with at with disappearing like three years ago that he told no one. Always, Lena's always been drawn to Gavin and um, basically um, just try, their new plan is to try to be friends again, just friends. But as the pieces fall into place about why Gavin left, saying friends might be the last thing on their minds and all the plans they made up might just end up completely wrecked. Wreck My Plans is a spicy and is a sweet and spicy age gap brother's best friend romance about finding yourself. Yes. <laughs> My long list of anticipated holiday books that I'm hoping to read this year. Will I read them all? No. I really want to, but I probably won't. Hopefully I can get to half of them. If you have any holiday books that came out this year that you want to read that I did not mention, because I'm sure there's lots, please leave them in the comments below. Like I said, I'm sure I forgot some. I know I did, but I'm really looking forward to all of these. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.